Hi, I'm Joe White. Welcome to Behind the Curtain, episode number 71. It's been a while since we actually connected. It's uh, been about two or three months since we did our last show, which we did Friends in Black and White. Uh, we interviewed uh, Larry Loring, uh, Jerry Halfheit, and Thomas Storr, who are going to be part of that film that we're going to be doing, and hopefully will be airing in September. Tonight, we are going to be listening in on a Zoom rehearsal, now, our last Zoom rehearsal, because Ashland Community Theater will be back in theaters in July. We'll be rehearsing our show, The Viewing Room, with our stars, uh, and you'll meet most of them tonight. And uh, we're going to listen in on a rehearsal that we're doing over Zoom. We're going to talk about some character development and some lines, and uh, you get to meet some of the characters a little bit ahead of time. Uh, what I wanted to do was to give you an update on what we at Action Community Theater are doing. Well, this September, we're hoping to release our film, Friends in Black and White, starring Larry Loring, Jerry Halfite, written by Tom Astor. I did the screenplay and directed it, and it should be a short film that will be around in probably early September. That's our goal. We're going to try to do that over the summer and get it uh, out to the airwaves in early September. In the meantime, what we are also doing, we are rehearsing for The Viewing Room, a play that we're going to be performing at Marconi's Theater at the VFW, uh, two weekends, September 23rd, 24th, and 25th, and October 1st and 2nd. It's a very good cast. Uh, it's a play written by Mark Smith, a friend of mine out in California. And uh, we are working on the rehearsals and blocking. We'll be live in a theater rehearsing in mid-July. So that is great news. We, we've been cooped up for way too long, just like most of you, and we've been enjoying the Zoom rehearsals, but we are sick of them. We want to be with people and rehearse with people, and I want to see blocking, and I want to see actors interacting, not just over Zoom. So that being said, uh, we are also planning our December show, a show called Dancing Through the Snow. It's a Christmas themed show in Texas. Uh, there are four separate scenes in which my very good friend, Julie Murphy will be directing. And it will be having, I think up to 13 different actors in the four different scenes, uh, Dancing Through the Snow in December. So be on the lookout for that as well. Uh, it's gonna be December uh, 16th, 17th and 18th. A week before Christmas. It's a Christmas theme in Texas. A lot of fun, a lot of great, great time. And once again, live in theater. And we hope to see people out there to support Ashton Community Theater as we come back for our 13th and 14th shows in the year of 2021. So that being said, I want you to eavesdrop a little bit on some of the rehearsals that we're doing and interviews that we're going to be doing with uh, some of the actors in the viewing room. Sit back, relax, and enjoy a little eavesdropping of the show. <laughs> so I'm recording a, a mini uh, show that we're going to do for Behind the Curtain because I haven't done one in a while. But this is Larry Loring, who is actually just getting up and walking away. And he's putting away his guitar. No way. I wanted to hear you play a little bit. Uh, another time. Another time? Oh, uh, so, so Larry, I, I'm recording this a little bit because uh, Barbara came to me and said, we haven't done it behind the curtain since we did the Friends in Black and White in late March. Ah. Uh, so uh, she said, can you do something, just do something right before your, your, uh, your rehearsals and talk to each actor about the following question. How excited are you about rehearsing July 20th and 21st in an actual theater, but would you prefer to keep doing Zoom rehearsals? Up to you. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't see that or hear that, but yeah, that's great. That's exactly what we've been looking for. That that that, that kind that's of exactly, commentary. That's one of the reasons why I want to get back into the theater. It says no more, no more, no more muting. Oh my God! Last weekend, our last rehearsal we did sealed the deal for me. <laughs> by and Bob Maber's trying to get on now, so he's the classic example of uh, can. Oh, am I on mute? Am I on? Am I on yo? I don't. And then, then you get to see this. There you go. You get to see Bob's Adam's apple. I, I, I can't. I can't do this anymore. Bob, can we not see your Adam's apple or your nose hair? Or is that okay? Unbelievable. Can we not? Can you? 
Can you get off of mute? Can you try? You wonder why I haven't hung myself yet because of this ability to work with actors in such a dynamic fashion, face to face. He's, I think he's frozen on the screen right now. Uh. <laughs> oh, the, sure. Yes, of course. There's Bob. Where, where's Bob? I, I'm, I'm always trying. <laughs> trying what? <clears throat> Your patience. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, 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 yeah, pretty much. So, me or so you? Bob, we were talking about this the other day. Why do you love Zoom rehearsals more than in-person rehearsals? Why do you like that better? Bob, Bob's right here. <laughs> is this... Is this could I couldn't write um, this any better? No. See, this is the classic Zoom <laughs> rehearsal. I'm asking questions and he's like, I'm here. <laughs> I'm I'm here. But but I'm frozen. Um, I don't. And I'm in mute. Can, can, can you hear me? <sighs> can you hear me? That's another good one. Yeah. 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 I think we did the thing in one of the first episodes we've done, which we're hoping gonna win an award for tomorrow night, is uh uh, uh, Zoom bingo, where people were doing Zoom calls, and if they said a word like, "Oh, I'm sorry, am I on mute?" Oh, uh, it, oh, you were talking to me. Oh, uh, my camera's not working. You would get the bingo prize, and if you got all five of them right, you win. Oh my God, is he? You frozen? It's frozen again. Uh, he's like, I feel like singing, uh, "Let it go, let it go." Is that the song? No. <laughs> He's gone. It's amazing. I, I can't, I really, I will, I will kill the rehearsal tonight early if this continues to happen because I cannot go through another rehearsal in which people are dropping and I can't hear this. But, I, am, uh, I, am, just, I am literally, literally dying to, uh, to get back on the stage and be with people again. This is, oh my goodness gracious me. Craziness. Oh, they got, now we got, what is that? Is that Bob, Bob's baby picture? <laughs> It's like, it's like, okay, I'm back. Ooh. Yeah. What does that do for me that you're back? Well, you know, this is a classic okay. show. We're just going to record 15 minutes of Bob trying to join the Zoom call. I, I can't hear anything. And make it. That's not my fault. You're very <laughs> You're, you're very intermittent, Joe. Am I intermittent, Larry, or is it just Bob? It can is you hear me? Bob. Just Bob, yeah. I don't know what, can you hear Larry? I thought I did that last time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drop you on purpose and just say, we're gonna, I'll read Steven's line. So we, we've got, we've got a wonderful show that we're doing. So Bob, can you hear me or not? All right, forget Bob. So Larry, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute this guy. This guy's annoying me. I'm gonna drop him. <clears throat> Tell me a little bit about the viewing room and how long we've been, you've been part of this, so you can give me just give the give the audience a background without too much information, so that uh, we can give them uh, a snippet of what the show is about. Oh well, the the show is I've been involved with this since uh, since the very beginning. I think we've we've been trying to put this on for what a year and a half now. Almost two years, and and you before that working with uh, working mm -hmm. with Mark, the uh, the author. Um, yeah, and it's been it's it's been a process. Uh, we thought we were going to get it on stage; it didn't happen. Um, COVID took care of that, but uh, now we can get back on the stage. So let's 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 do this this play about uh, uh, basically about a a family that needs to get through some of its some of its issues mm -hmm. uh, all that over the uh, um, uh, the the backdrop of a funeral okay I should be yep. back in business and, and 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 now that now that he's back in business this is great because Oops. if you're back in business we're all back in business Bob that's what really matters but so so Larry I think you're right we've been together working on this uh, co collectively since the fall of 2019 and we'll be going up in the fall of 2021 so it will be a two-year stretch yep. of of putting it now obviously COVID put a damper on putting getting us out there and um 
in the beginning, I remember getting a phone call. We were scheduled to rehearse at WACA. And Barbara said, this was like mid, early March, maybe mid-March. Well, maybe we should cancel Wednesday's rehearsal just to be safe, because I, I don't know what, what, what everybody's doing. And then within 24 to 48 hours, I think everything was closed. People were getting kicked out of schools and yep. getting back home and everyone was locking down. Uh, so we got, we got teased a little bit about potentially maybe we'll delay it a month. Maybe we'll delay it a season. And then we said maybe the fall of 2020, we'll get back. Maybe we'll start it in the spring of 21. It just kept dragging and dragging and dragging. Yeah. Um, and we've, we even considered doing it as a, as a screenplay, as a, as a yep. film. And then that, that didn't quite wasn't able to pan out either yep yeah and i i think we also considered um you know never doing this show now and that, that never actually crossed our minds it was one of those it's like if, if anybody's determined i think you and i are very determined people yep. in many different ways and, and uh, we're not giving up on this and I, i'll put this show on if there's four people in the audience at this point and if they if we outnumber the the people in the audience it's going on so i think it's just about it's about the acting in the theater so what, what do you miss the most about not being on stage i think i asked you this before but what what is the thing you miss the most just the, the engagement with the other with the other actors there, there's something about that that uh, uh that draws out of your insides as, as an actor and, and and kind of magnifies what it is that you're trying to put uh, mm -hmm. out there into your character and, and into the play. I, I miss rehearsals with actors on stage to see how they interact with each other. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 I, I know you know the words to the scripts. I know you know them because you're reading them right off the page, most of you. But it's, it's the, the, the key thing is that I know people are better when they have something to play off of than a Zoom delay or a Zoom uh interaction uh, and i say delay it's like there are times people will talk you don't know whether or not they're finished whether they're frozen no. whether they're uh, uh not listening whether they can't be heard etc so uh, i i can't wait july 20th cannot come soon enough yep. for us um so now we've got uh with us linda and linda linda slocum's coming up we got Bob's iPhone coming up. So I'm recording a little uh, pre-interview stuff. Can you guys take yourself off mute? Maybe not. I can. Okay. <laughs> so Linda, you are also one of the originals of, of this. So I'm doing a quick interview before we go uh, live for the rehearsal. Um, I promised Barbara I'd do another behind the curtain and I haven't done it behind the curtain since the end of March. I said, you know what? Let me, let me sneak one in while we're doing uh, this and talk about how wonderful Zoom has been rehearsing. So give me a, give me a Zoom story or fun stuff. Why do you love Zoom so much and why don't you want to go back on stage? Because that's what you told me, right? Um, well, I don't know about that. But Zoom is good for the interim, but I definitely am really looking forward to getting back on the stage and seeing people in person. Why? It, I mean, it's so much fun to see two Bob Mabers on the screen <laughs> and neither one of them able to hear. One's frozen solid and the other one's laughing on mute. It's, I mean, you, how do you not like that? You can't beat that. Well, you know. <laughs> it also makes it interesting to do the, the things where we have to speak together at the same time. <laughs> you mean you, you can't synchronize people in three different locations over the uh, uh, airwaves simultaneously. I mean, that, that can't happen. Hey, let's Not give so it a much. try. All right, me, me <laughs> you and Larry, because Bob can't even hear me. Me, you and Larry say, we love Zoom uh, on the count of three. How about that? Ready? One, two, three. We, we love, love Zoom. 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 See, now you, you got heard. I was on delay and Larry was very low. So it worked. I think that the audience would just love that. All right, so Linda, quick question before we get to the others joining us, because I always can count on you, Larry, 
and almost Bob being here on time. Uh, what is your favorite show you've ever done in all of your time on stage? Oh, wow. That's a hard one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. uh, I, I'd be hard pressed to say what my favorite one was. Um, ooh, I don't know. You don't know no, nothing. Nothing pops to your mind. The first one that pops to your mind could well, be the last almost one main. I really enjoyed doing that one because I got to play multiple characters in mm -hmm. that, and I got to do a lot of physical comedy, which I don't always do. So that was fun. Okay. Yeah. I first, know Larry's answer. What's my answer? Your your answer is you haven't done it yet. You're going to do it soon. Yeah. There you go. That's <laughs> That's true too. Aside from the, the from the play that's upcoming, yep. Um, yeah. No, my my favorite has been uh, the second time that I played Dr. Einstein in Arsenic and Old Lace. Oh, the, the second time was that the one that I first saw you on with that's uh, that's Rob correct. Murphy, Rob Murphy, yep. and, and uh, Chris Arath. Chris Arath and and uh, who played? Uh, oh yeah, Katie Kalori played um, yep. Elaine. I think yep. Elaine. Yeah. Yep. Remember, that was great. That was great. That was that was that was a great find because I think did Mark Frokes play in that? No, no, Brendan. Oh, he did not. Brendan, uh, no, no. no. Um, Jim Parr. I remember. I remember coming away from that from that play saying, uh, "There's three people I need to work with," and you were one of them. Katie was another. I thought there was one other person that played somebody because I already worked with Chris already, but it was great. So, Bob, can you hear us here? Yes. Can you hear okay. me? Yeah, I'm yeah. going to ask the question to you, and I know the answer. The fa your favorite play that you've ever been in, I think you're going to say the one that you play, Columba. Yes. Uh, you, you you told me to do that, Joe, so you could say, Bob, you have to unmute. No, okay, no. You, okay. you missed my. You missed, No, I did not do that. Like that's not that's not tonight bob bob bob, bob doesn't, oh, that's bob on stage doesn't get on stage okay bob, <laughs> bob bob doesn't get me i'm gonna drop i, I got part bob. of it right i'm dropping um. bob all right how do we drop bob <laughs> how do we just mute bob there we go Hi, bob. Mute bob. there we go he's good all right stop he's got to stop talking okay david molarski man myth yeah. legend man in red shirt Yes, sir. We're recording a quick episode of Behind the Curtain, and we're talking about how wonderful we love Zoom rehearsals. Can you tell me why you love Zoom rehearsals so much that you never want to go back on stage? Give me that. Uh, <laughs> um, well, I, li I like Zoom rehearsals because they're rehearsals, and, and um, I would love to go back on stage. Um, they, they, Zoom is a weak substitute at best, but at least it's getting the cast together and and going over the lines and getting your direction. And, um, where the hell are you? <laughs> I'm in Bermuda right now. <laughs> oh, I love that background. Yeah, I love that. And that, that actually is the uh, Grotto uh, Bay and Beach Resort in Bermuda, the only place that's an all-inclusive, you, you pay up front, and you have all of beer, alcohol, wine, and bear, food that you want. And they definitely lost money on me. But <laughs> so, so yes, Mr. Blarney, question for you. I asked the other cast members, what was your favorite show that you've done and in, in, that your all time favorite? Besides this one, because we all know this is going to be your favorite. But which one of the okay. shows that you've done has been your favorite all time? Well, uh, this is going back. Uh, a long ways, but I was first voice and Dylan Thomas is under Milkwood. And we played it off book. Aren't, so, aren't most plays off book or? No, no, no. That, that's, uh, that is uh, Dylan Thomas is under Milkwood is called a play for voices. And it's usually read. Oh, um, oh because I guess there's so many words. I mean, Dylan Thomas he liked words. Yes, he did. He could he write a lot of them. He could write pages and pages of them. So it, it took me three months um, to memorize the script. And um, I only dropped one scene from one performance. <laughs> wow. 
So, um, so what I, is the I'm name of this again? Of that. Oh, what was the name of it, David? Under, Under Milk Wood by Dylan Thomas. Wow. Yeah, it's um, it, it's uh, it's really kind of prose poetry. And it's a story of a fishing village, a traditional fishing village in um, his native land of um, Scotland, I guess. Is it? No, Ireland. He's, he's, he was Welsh. Welsh. Oh, okay. Okay. That would explain um, the, the difficult names in there. Yeah, <laughs> it would. <laughs> anyway, but the one I'm looking forward to, uh, my favorite play is the next one. So that, that's what I say. The favorite one is the one. It's like, it's like Tom Brady. He says, what's your favorite championship? The next yeah, one. Yep, yep. The next one. So excellent. I, well, nice I, to have you here. Uh, I Amanda can't wait slash, to get this one up on stage. Oh, it will be. Yeah, I can't wait to be in, on the theater with you guys. So, so Amanda slash Debbie, I got a question for you. We're doing a quick recording for our Behind the Curtain show. I promised Barbara at WACA TV that I would do one. And I'm lazy, so I decided to do one just before a rehearsal. And mm -hmm. as people started to join, I'm asking them questions. So, and I know that you're very adamant not wanting to ever stop a Zoom rehearsal ever again, because you said you <laughs> I wanted to do everything on Zoom. Can well, you just tell me why play you on Zoom. It'll be great. <laughs> That, that's what that's what I was thinking. But go ahead. Why do you think that, and why don't you want to ever get back on stage again? Can you explain that, or did I misread what you meant? I think you might have misread just a tiny bit. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so how do you feel then? How do you feel about us getting back together again? I am super excited to. Um, I actually haven't met most of you. I've seen a lot of your names, and I think my brother has worked with most of you, but I haven't. So. I'm super excited to meet everybody. Everybody seems super talented and, you know, great to work with and very seasoned. And I can learn a lot from all of you, I'm sure. And I think we're going to have great chemistry when we actually start like getting together and doing the blocking. Oh, you want to do blocking for this show or? Okay. Oh, we can you... swing it. it. It'll be I good. Was, I was just figuring we just go on stage and say people stand and roam wherever they want to go because I think it's just a free form, sort of like what Dave was talking about his play, just, just free form it. Just yeah. that's free right. Stuff. Yeah. Free, free, free walking, stuff. walking is so yesterday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> walking is so, so Zoom-like. It's weird. So Amanda, I know you're playing Debbie here in this character here. Uh, I know you've been with us for a few weeks now, maybe over a month now reading I it with us. A month, yeah. yeah, about a month now. And uh, <clears throat> you will be... Uh, what was your favorite all-time show to be in? Besides this one, we got to talk about it. Everyone said that it's, this one is there. What is your all-time favorite one that you've ever been in? So, Will, you think about that while I'm getting to you in a minute. So, I've been trying to think about it because I had a feeling I was going to be asked this question as soon as I logged on. And, you know, Dave was, <laughs> I, I thought I might be back. So, um, you know, I haven't been in... I feel like and maybe enough shows to, well, I've been a fair amount, not a lot, but I don't have a favorite, which is awful. I'm hoping it's this one. <laughs> so far, it's this one, just because of the character development alone, it's, it's, it's this one. Okay, well, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, I, I think some of our all-time favorites is to say our favorite one is the next one that we're going to be doing, or this one that we're doing, which is fine. Um, just curious, but uh, I'm really excited about being on stage. So, so Will, Will, let's see, uh, you, you, uh, you, you've been working with us for a while now. And uh, once again, you, you've also been adamant about continuing Zoom till, till Zoom's day. <laughs> Zoom. oh, 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 wow. wow. That's great joke. Didn't, didn't see that one coming. <laughs> I didn't, didn't, didn't see that. <laughs> so, Here's to you. There you go. So uh, when Zoom's day comes, well, how would you uh, how would you uh, equate the rehearsals on Zoom uh, to, in your mind? What, what did you like and dislike about it the most? Um, it's weird seeing yourself in every aspect of your performance, and it's hard to look away sometimes, which is the exact opposite of what you want to do in an emotional scene with another actor. Mm -hmm. is you want to be thinking get out of your own head and start getting into them. But then, you know, 
you know, reading off of their energy and their choices, but instead it's just like, oh man, I should really rearrange that shelf. Just, does my eyebrows always move that way? You know, <laughs> <No>. that's, <laughs> that's the whole process. I've done en entire shows on Zoom and that is from the first rehearsal until the final moments of performance. That is all I'm thinking about is, wow, do I, do I always do that when I'm trying to look angry? Like, <laughs> So you don't get to see that now. Now, one of the things we do is in ACT, we film our performances. And some people uh, like me watch them every night before I go to bed, but uh, other people <laughs> don't ever want to see themselves on stage. But the, are you one of the people who would want to watch themselves or have you watched themselves on, on any of the films that we've done? He just said he can't look away. Right, yeah. <laughs> I've tried to watch... So not at, with ACT, but other yep. productions I've done. I've tried to go back and, you know, mm -hmm. enjoy the experience of living vicariously through the audience. And it is almost unbearable. I don't know if any of you guys can relate, but, uh, oh, I hate you know, see myself on camera. Yeah. It's like, why didn't anybody tell me I was doing that thing with my hand? Like, no, we, were, we were rehearsing like, for three months. Nobody told me I did this every week. Like, <laughs> So I yeah, no. I can't see Absolutely. my face because my hands keep going in front of it like that. Right. <laughs> so, so so no one like so you like watching yourself all the time then too. So you said you can't turn away as Larry said. Oh, I keep... no, it's like terrible. It's Yep. I wish so I could watch anything else. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing my own face is extremely distracting. Right. Yeah, and then you notice like, well, is, is, is my teeth really that crooked? Is it? Oh my God, it is. Oh yeah, it's not, yeah, yeah there you go. Oh, There's so many things that you get to see <laughs> up close and personal on, on Zoom that you don't get to see on stage. It, it, the stage is a beautiful thing with makeup and lighting. Very forgiving, yes. <laughs> the, I have a funny story. Go for it. Okay, all right. Um, I'll try not to monopolize too much of the time, but it's funny that you mentioned that, Joe, because I actually... <laughs> When I saw the dentist today, I actually asked him for a referral for the orthodontist just because I've been noticing so much that oh, my teeth are starting to shift. It's really awful looking. So yeah, it, exact. I noticed that exact thing. I, well, I definitely feel <laughs> that way because I didn't realize that I had this little teeny, well, whatever it is. It feels like it's, to me, it feels like my tooth is like this and then the other one's like this. I'm like. How does that? Yeah. But you, you just you, you notice the imperfections of, of oneself, but I don't notice any imperfections of this wonderful cast. I just don't see any imperfection at all. So I, you guys shouldn't be worried about going to the dentist or or the uh, well, we, plastic surgeon. Well, maybe Bob, good. but that's another story altogether. Oh. <laughs> I'm just picking on Bob because of his uh, Zoom uh, uh, challenges the last couple of episodes. All right, so I will wait on Lida who said she'd be here in a minute. So I'm, I'm kind of stalling a little bit, but so I did send uh, sections five, six, and seven with full block, uh, full updates uh, uh, highlighted in blue. Uh, I only got a, a comment from Bob, which we'll talk about. I don't want to get into too many of the words and scripts while we're recording. Uh, but if you get a chance to review five, six, and seven, if there's anything you want to look there, that's the one we're going to be using when we're back on stage, July 20th. Uh, if you have anything, so I want you to rehearse with that, work with that, live with that. Tonight, we're going to be doing sections one, two, three, and four. And I'll be doing the same thing, sending that back, reviewing it, uh, taking out some of the things that we worked on, uh, adding some of the things in we did during the rehearsals uh, and making sure that that's final. And then uh, we'll have uh, Kelly Egnitz with us starting to be uh, with script. Uh, we're going to be taking those away from you on the 27th and 28th. So be prepared. Uh, Will will be very happy that he knows now the date of when you can start learning, which I think you said July 26th at midnight. Yeah, around there, yeah. Drive right over, there. you know. I'll just have the script in one hand and the other there hand on the wheel. There you go. <laughs> that could be dangerous. Um, so that's the game plan for us. And uh, I, I'm trusting you guys can um, work together for the next couple of weeks. I mean, by yourselves, not on Zoom. I will not do another Zoom rehearsal after this so this is a good and bad time for us good that, that it's ending and and bad that uh, it's ending all in the same uh, breath but i am so happy that we're not going to have to do this again that we can actually see each other um 
and uh, keep it moving. And uh, I think uh, we're going to get going. So let's start with uh, just a quick comment from each of you on uh, thinking about what it is that you're so much looking forward to for being on stage. And I'm going to start with Bob. Uh, I'm looking for getting the blocking because uh, I record my lines and I record my blocking if I need to. And that's how I get it into my brain of sort of what, what's happening. Excellent. Will? I, I am looking forward to going back to real acting. You know, uh, Zoom is adjacent to what we do on stage, but it's not the real thing. Amanda? I am just looking forward to, you know, building chemistry and building my character off of other people's characters and further developing that. And just oh. really being a, a present dysfunctional family. <laughs> <laughs> we put the fun and dysfunctional, I'm hoping. There you go. Hmm. And David? Well, um, I'm also looking forward to tying the words together with actions and how the words make sense in the context of, of where the other actors are going to be and where the props are going to be and, and the whole bringing the words to life on stage I think is really mm -hmm. um, a, a different experience than trying to imagine it you know in a mm -hmm. zoom rehearsal although this is valuable uh, definitely um, getting on stage and being in real space um, and reacting with with the actors in real space uh, I, I I don't think you can replace that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can try to but you can Linda I'm most looking forward to actually being physically there with other people and being able to feed off of their energy and and because it's it's different on a screen you just don't get that same feedback yeah no. And not last, but last but not least, Mr. Larry. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, smacking Will around, but but aside from that, <laughs> as I've mentioned uh, uh, in the past, this this play is a very personal one for me. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some closure uh, about my, my own life and upbringing uh, out of it. And looking forward to doing that. And you know when we're going to be looking forward to doing that? We're going to be looking forward to it on September 23rd, 24th, 25th, and October 1st and October 2nd at Marconi's Theater at the Ashland VFW. All show times will be at 7.30. Uh, we'll be giving information underneath the screen here about how to get tickets. If you get tickets now, I'll give you a discount. If you wait till it gets too late, it's going to cost you more money. So early bird discounts get in and stuff. And we will be recording the show and we will be airing it later on after the performances for those who are out of town, who want to see the show, who want to, and they can uh, pay their little nominal fee to see this film and keep ACT going. So uh, once again, I will not give away anything about the view room other than the fact I love this cast. I love this script and I can't wait to see it live on stage so good night everybody have a great night and we'll be back in touch with you very soon <laughs>